Hey y'all, Cocky Crochet here, and I just wanted to take a moment to do an unboxing video with you. So I just received a package yesterday from none other than Pearl's Crochet. Um, so I ordered a few new hooks that I've never actually tried before. So I'm looking forward to getting them open and seeing how they work. Uh, these are going to be my first uh, wooden hooks that I've purchased that hopefully actually work because I did actually purchase some on Etsy one time and they were all the wrong size and I had to do a big battle with that, blah, blah, blah. So I don't really even count those. I'm going to count these as my first ones because I know that I can trust that Pearls is a really good company. Um, and so, yeah, anyway, so enough chatter for me. Let's go ahead and get into this box. All right, so here it is. I've got the box with the Crochet Foundry Magazine logo and the Phil's Fiber Arts logo. Got my scissors here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut into this box. Ooh, there we go. Okay, there we go. So there's the side here. Potential personal info. I gotta make sure I don't get that up on here, but there we go. Okay, so here we go. Always they wrap them up very nicely in all this paper to make sure that they're in good condition when they're transported. I think that should be paper, so I'll go ahead and set that aside. Okay, here we go. So it's gonna unravel. Okay, here we go. All right, there's layer number one. Okay. Layer number two, and there they are. That beautiful furls streamline. Now, I don't know if they did this on purpose to like, you know, have one side say furls, the other streamline, and just the other one be like a plain one, but you know, pretty, pretty smart of them if they did do that. If not, it was just a coincidence. Well, lucky them. Okay, so um, I ordered actually, as you can see, three different ones. Um, I ordered three different styles of wood because I feel like I'm not necessarily going to buy this like giant set of all these wooden hooks um, since you know I'm not quite sure how I'm going to feel about them but I did at least want to have a variety because I want them to look like a set but they're all going to be completely different. Um, so I ordered an ebony one and a teak one and then one of their silver oak ones. So I'm really excited about trying all of them out. Um, so what I'll do is go ahead and see if they've got them marked and I can... Okay, well, it doesn't say that they're marked, so I have no idea which one is which. So we're gonna go ahead and just kind of scoot these over here and I'll just pick a box for box number one and we'll see what that one is. Okay, so we've got, uh, wait, open the other end. Okay, so we'll make sure we do the side that says pearls. Ooh, there's the nice big reveal and we slowly pull it out. Ooh, okay. All right, so this is the really dark one. So I imagine that this is my ebony and it is my size I hook. So this is going to be my 5.5 millimeter. It's kind of difficult to see because it's so dark, but there you can see there's the eye with the 5.5 millimeter. So definitely punched in nice and cleanly. Oh, <laughs> one of my cats has discovered the paper. So if you hear crumpling in the background, don't worry, I'm, I'm safe. My cats are just having a great time. So right here it feels Pretty smooth here. Yeah. Definitely not as slick as a metal, like an aluminum or anything like that. So definitely gonna have some drag to it probably whenever I work with it. I'm gonna test out a few yarns with these. So you know, I'll, I'll check to see how that actually feels. But just running my hand over it right now, it feels very, you know, smooth, but not like silky, buttery smooth. Okay, all right, there we go. So there's the eye hook. I'm gonna set that just right there. Okay, and then we'll go to the next box here. Okay. Make sure I'm opening up the correct end here. All right, here's the next one, and it is, ooh, okay. This one, I believe, is my teak wood. Yeah, because it's got more of that, like, medium wood grain to it. This is my size J. This is a lot easier to see because it's not as dark, but here's my size J, six millimeter hook and pearls. Um, oh my God, I love all that, ooh, ooh. Oh, I'm in love with that. That is, that is gorgeous here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna adjust that light so you can see it in its more like natural state here. Yeah, they've got like this swirly, dark, knotted pattern right here on the top. Definitely can tell that it's really 
made from like a piece of wood and you know carefully polished and everything i feel like this one is a little bit smoother than this one so or maybe, maybe they're about the same no i feel like okay so this one feels a little bit more like it's it's more polished like it's much smoother but this one feels like it has less grip if that makes sense so it's like not gonna have as much drag on it it's kind of difficult to describe in words but just you know trust me that that's basically how it feels right now so yeah we got the nice like hook head there okay very good and it is clearly bigger than the eye hook so we're already off to a good start here so we'll go ahead and set that there okay and then we've got our final one. Oh, i'm so sad it's almost over but i'm very happy to finally get into these hooks because i got them yesterday but i had to work at the yarn shop and then i also had to go i had, had to i went to go see the super mario brothers movie super great movie totally should go see it this is not a movie review but i do want you to know that it was a lot of fun uh, my husband and i really enjoyed it but i was like oh my god i can't wait to get into these hooks so here we go right, final hook okay very good Ooh, like it's kind of caught on something oh i got it got it <gasps> yep this is the silver oak okay yeah oh yeah you can tell because it's got like that signature kind of spotted random little like tiny striations of like that gray that ashy gray and then they said that it would be like kind of either really grayish or really blonde and I think I've actually got a mix of the best of both worlds it's kind of hard to see on the camera but like this side is a little bit more on that kind of blondy side so it's a little bit more like a warm wooden color then you flip it to the other side where the size is, which you can see is an 85 millimeter. It's got a lot more of that gray going through it. So yeah, oh my God, and they're so, they're just so lightweight. Like just, I have felt wooden furls crochet hooks before and thought, you know what, these are actually really nice. Like I just, I wasn't quite sure because again, like I've been burned by wood hooks before, but like, you know what, I'm finally gonna bite the bullet and just actually get these. Um, so yeah, so I'm actually glad I did. And I got them in these sizes because I think the 5, 5.5, and 6 are the ones I'll typically use with my worsted weight yarns. So like my um, the category 4 or my Aran weight ones. Um, and so these are just my three typical hooks that I use with that. And since my worsted yarns, I wasn't expecting to need to do a lot of fine work. I was like, wooden hooks I think will be sturdy enough. So yeah, all right. So I'm going to stop yammering about the actual hooks and let me get some yarn and we will run a test. Okay, I've gone ahead and switched backgrounds because I realized with the wooden desk, it was kind of causing these to blend in. So um, I thought I would give you a bit of a brighter background so it'd be easier to appreciate and see the wood of the hooks. So just as a quick recap, this is the H5 millimeter in the silver oak. Then we've got the I uh, 5.5 millimeter in ebony and then the J 6, and, uh, six millimeter in the teak wood. So what I'm going to do for my swatch test here is I'm actually going to start with the biggest hook just because then I work my way down. I'm used to working with the smaller hooks, so I'll go ahead and set those other two aside. And I'm going to start pretty easy with just some superwash uh, merino wool. So this is a worsted weight from uh, Chip Fit Knits in the color charcoal. Um, I'll have a link in the description box where you can purchase that on your own if you would like. Um, so I'll go ahead and just make a quick little slip knot here, place that on my hook. Okay. And then we'll just make a few chains. Ooh, okay, that is really smooth. Very, very nice. Definitely did not have any snags or anything. Uh, so working into this second chain from the hook, I'll go ahead and just do some single crochets. One. Ooh, okay actually pretty nice honestly I was kind of expecting there to be a lot more drag than I'm experiencing this is definitely actually going pretty smoothly it's definitely not as smooth as if I was using I feel one of my metal hooks like my boy hook or one of my Letherco hooks with the clover tip but it's actually still working pretty nicely for this foundation row, which is usually a pretty tricky one. So there's some single crochets. Okay. So we'll go ahead and work one more row of singles. Just 
so that way I'm working into actual stitches instead of into a chain and see how that goes. Here we go. Ooh, okay. What I really like is that it feels really nice. Very smooth, but also it's got kind of like a nice sound to it. I don't know if my microphone is picking up on that, but let's see if I can get maybe a little closer. Got some of that like very classic wool sound whenever you're working with a hook. So if you've ever worked with any sort of um, wool of any kind, you know probably what I'm talking about there. And work that final single crochet. Okay, all right, pretty nice. Okay, so definitely really enjoyed that. Like, I'm very glad like that this wood hook actually worked pretty well especially with this wool. So um, what I'm actually going to do now is switch over to the eye, the ebony hook, and just continue where this left off. See if whether or not using a different wood is going to have an impact. Perhaps on the experience here. Okay. All right, so I'm feeling a rather similar experience as far as the smoothness goes. So earlier when I was thinking maybe this one was a little bit more, you know, polished feeling as opposed to the teak wood, but they're both actually feeling about equally smooth. And I think what I like about this one is that because it's such a dark hook, if I were to use lighter yarns, then it would show up really well on my hook. Like I could easily see, oh, I split, oh no. Okay, well, we'll say third row, I'm working into a completely different stitch. And that's my first split. I still think that's actually doing pretty well. Yeah, that's, oh yeah, I think it's because like that's a, definitely a much deeper hook. Maybe it's not that much deeper. Relatively speaking, it looks like it's a slightly deeper hook. So yeah, that definitely feels like it's a little bit more pointy. So maybe that's why it caused that snap. Anyway, what I was saying is with the lighter yarn, I apologize, is that the I could be able to see all the different yarn overs. I could see the stitches up against my hook a little bit more clearly than I can if I'm using just like a silver hook or something like that. Definitely going a little slower on the half double crochets. Not too bad. I'm actually really enjoying this. And definitely like the thickness of this handle, it's definitely really helping with any sort of hand fatigue that I may get from like just a regular hook. Really lightweight, doesn't really hurt my wrists at all. There we go. Okay, so I think that actually works pretty well. Okay, so now what I think I'm going to actually do is go ahead and switch from that and then I'll work with the silver oak but rather than working with the superwash merino I actually want to put it to the test and work with this non superwash so this is from um, Viking Fiber Company it's an indie dyer out of Colorado and these are his Nornier base and it is a DK weight non superwash uh, wool it's mostly merino but there is some Corydale and some Grey Romney fibers mixed in as well so definitely not a nice smooth yarn like the Superwash Merino just was. So we'll see how it does with the drag potentially of this wood hook. So got the silver here, so we'll do some chains. Oh, that is definitely not as quiet. <laughs> okay, so work some single crochets here. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's definitely not as quiet a sound as the superwash was against the other woods.
definitely not as speedy an experience. So I think that the wood grain and the non super wash are both kind of working to slow me down, which I'm not too picky about the speed of my crochet. I am actually not a super fast crocheter. I wouldn't say I'm necessarily the slowest, but I'm definitely not one of the speed crocheters. Like I've seen other designers. Oh my gosh, they can be super fast. But I will say it's giving me kind of this nice rustic experience, which I know is a pretty classic word when it comes to non super wash wool, but definitely feeling like the wood hook with the wool yarn. Feels like I'm like an old timey crocheter, maybe like on a farm or in a cottage somewhere, and I'm just like, you know, working up sweaters for my family to get us through the long cold winter, you know, just something like that, you know, just kind of a pleasant experience like that. Okay. Now I know I started with some smaller stitches because I am using the H hook. I'm actually going to go switch back to let's try the J hook here with the teak wood and see because okay so this one definitely is smooth but it's probably I would say maybe like the roughest or the one that has like maybe the most drag out of these wood hooks. So that might have been something that was causing it to drag a little bit more with this. So if I test it out with the smoother one actually try some double crochets. I haven't done any of those yet. Let's see if that makes any sort of difference. Ooh. Okay, so it's still not as smooth as when working with the Superwash Merino, but it is giving me a smoother experience than the Silver Oak was. So the teak wood is definitely the smoother wood of those two hooks. Still very pleasant, still a very enjoyable experience, which I'm very glad for. Especially since, you know, I purchased these. Um, I wanted to make sure it was worth my money. All right. There's that, okay. Now it'd only be fair for me to also test the ebony hook with it. So I can go ahead and continue the double crochet thing here. Because the ebony was also a smoother hook than I feel the silver oak was. Oh yeah, I could definitely get used to working with these hooks. They're very, very pleasant. Not as much drag as I was expecting for wood hooks. Very comfortable in the hand. They seem to work with both very, you know, typically soft and smooth and typically rough and tough yarn. So, oh my God, did not mean for that to rhyme, I'm sorry. Um, but anyway, yeah, so it looks like with the silver oak, the ebony and the teak, um, I get some pretty comfortable stitching. Um, I definitely really, really enjoy all three of these. So yeah, I'm very happy that I ordered them and have them as part of my collection. Um, you can feel free to also check out the links in the description box below to get a hold of your own uh, versions of these hooks. Um, I will have links directly to all, to all of these, but also they have other woods. Um, I just, you know, chose these three. Um, so they also have like, you know, ones like Laurel and they also have like a cam wood one. Um, they also have some alphas that have like different woods and stuff. So definitely feel free to check those out. Um, if you do use my affiliate links down below, um, I do get a small commission um, at no extra cost to you. So the prices of the hooks stay exactly the same, but because Pearls is like, hey, you directed them you know, to our website, um, they go ahead and give me like a little bit to be able to help out with that. So um, side note though, I even though um, I do have the affiliate links, these opinions about the hooks are entirely my own. I was not paid by Pearls to do this review in any sort of way. In fact, I didn't even know I was going to do this. I just purchased the hooks and decided, hey, I wanted to share them with my um, fellow hook and like crochet friends. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to stop rambling on. Thank you very much for joining me today. Um, and I look forward to coming out with some more videos later. If you like this video, please feel free to like it and hit subscribe. Thank you very much. Have a great night.